Busy first week for lawmakers in Tallahassee. Governor DeSantis giving his state of the state address the surprise abortion bill that was announced at a new affordable housing plan. Tonight, Capitol reporter for Saunders with where this all goes next. Let's first talk about Governor Ron DeSantis. He's out with a new book. He's traveling to key primary states and his campaign is releasing ads that look rather presidential. It sure looks like he's running for the White House, but he's got a legislative session to deal with first. Let the governor be received. At least half of Governor Ron DeSantis' big speech Tuesday, a reflection on his first four years in office. We will ensure that Florida remains the number one state in these United States. The other half is big GOP-backed goals, fighting critical race theory in higher ed, permitless carry, and curbing illegal immigration with this sweeping bill. It would find businesses that knowingly hire undocumented, bolster citizen verification requirements for employers, and more. Pushing back on the federal government and hopefully force the federal government to do something about the open borders and, and fix the legal immigration system. But a surprise abortion bill sucked up most of the oxygen this week. The proposal would take Florida's ban from 15 weeks to just six. That's around the time a heartbeat is detected, but before many know they're pregnant. It is effectively an outright ban. Democrats have vowed a war, while Republicans now seem more aligned on the issue, considering it has exceptions for rape and incest. We will now see HB1 move to the floor. Congratulations. Meanwhile, the GOP plan for universal school vouchers made steady progress, ready for the House floor and one committee away in the Senate. It opens up taxpayer-funded scholarships for private schooling to all Florida students, regardless of income or ability. How we plan on paying for this? The price tag still a question mark. The House estimated $210 million. Nonprofits saying billions. The Senate still working it out. Uh, I hope to have them before our next committee, but uh, at this time I can't give you the timeline. The upper chamber also unanimously approved that massive affordable housing bill off the floor. It uses a variety of tax incentives and programs to spur private development of workforce housing, trying to get more to live where they work. Now the whole state is almost in a housing crisis. We've got to uh, take, take, we've got to do something. There have been concerns it limits local government power on rent control, but even some critics feel the benefits outweigh the costs. The House gets it next and will vote in the coming weeks. One other big bill we have to talk about is permitless carry. Republicans were able to push it through its final committee. It's now ready for floor votes in the House and Senate. That's despite Democratic concerns that this bill is going to lead to more gun violence. Even so, the upper chamber could vote on the policy as soon as Wednesday or Thursday. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. Forrest